One of the things that makes good investing so difficult is that bad investing often begins with half-truths, such as, revolutionary industries should make revolutionary money. Your mind is an amazing machine, doing far more than you can imagine. It's your biggest ally, but it can be your biggest enemy, especially when it comes to your finances. I'm Dr. Daniel Crosby, and we are going inside your mind to put you on your best behavior. Consider the case of the airplane. The National Air Traffic Controllers Association reports that there are over 87,000 flights per day in the U.S. alone. And yet investing in this marvelous, life-changing technology has almost always been a bad idea. Warren Buffett said, if a capitalist had been present at Kitty Hawk back in the early 1900s, he should have shot Orville Wright. It has eaten up capital over the past century like almost no other business because people seem to keep coming back to it and putting fresh money in. You've got huge fixed costs, you've got strong labor unions, and you've got commodity pricing. That is not a great recipe for success. Just like air travel, the internet has revolutionized our lives, but has not always provided investment returns to match. Internet users now send 204 million emails per minute forever changing how we communicate. Facebook, with its goal to connect humanity, has passed the one billion user mark. Twitter now boasts over 370,000 tweets per minute and is powerful enough that a fake tweet erased 130 billion in value from the stock market in 2013. There's no denying the unmitigated success of the internet, but like airplanes before them, Internet stocks have often led investors to confuse societal impact with investment quality. What's the moral of all of this? Good companies, necessary and growing industries don't always make great investments. So think with your head and not with your heart.